Hi, today we are diving into Azure DevOps specially, how to set up a self-hosted agent. This is crucial for those of you who want more control over the CI CD pipelines. Let's get started. So I've created a tech project in Azure DevOps. And uh, before that, we need to follow some of the steps is one is creating a personal access token setting up the agent pool downloading the agent configuring the agent running the agent using the agent in the pipeline and finally the conclusion summarizing it so let's move on on creation of the personal access token uh, on this icon here user settings let me maximize this window and personal access token i have created a few of the tokens earlier so i'll create a new one And we are not going to, okay. We're going to use this for agent pad. Okay. And custom uh, 30 days customize. And we'll be looking for agent pool, show all. And once you click on it, read and manage, then create. We should be able to use this. Okay. Let me save this and I'm going to delete this token right after the video is completed. And moving forward to the Azure DevOps project itself, the tech, which I've created for this demo section and project settings. And below the pipelines, agent pool, and we should be able to see. So we'll be using default for now and we'll be creating uh, our ad pool. Default, we should have, okay, it's running, new agent. So I'm going to create a new agent following up on the following uh, steps. Uh, we're going to download this, okay. The download has started, we're able to see this, okay. And we're going to use that on our terminal window. So depending upon the Windows or Mac or Linux. So we are using Mac OS. So I have downloaded the Mac OS uh, download of the agent. So let's create the directory. Um, Okay, and once after you download that, we should be able to use this command. Okay, and let's configure the agent. Let me change the font size to bigger, just to make sure you're able to see it. Yeah, okay, fine. There'll be some pop-up messages, so you can ignore them. So after following the screen instructions on the screen and running the command forward slash config.sh, Azure Pipeline started, and it requires a license. So let's hit type in Y for accepting the license. And request to enter the URL. So we're going to capture the URL from the browser. and it's asking to authenticate with the pad click on enter and we need to get the pad token i hope this will not show up here on the screen okay great okay ignore the pop-up messages so it's really requesting for the url Yes, for into the path token. I realized uh, it's taking the space as well. So let me remove and 
retype it and we can ignore the window and the next one is like enter the agent so we'll leave that as default and this one as default and ignore the window. for the work folder I'm going to use my users and they should save the settings and it's better to make a copy of all this information handy just in case if we require in the future purpose but for me I'm going to uninstall it at the end of the video so it should all be good so next step is to run the agent let me stop this yeah yeah so okay let me move to this window which is azure devops window and we should have a pipeline created and let's try to create a new pipeline okay and github okay so let me use this uh, I should already have an existing Azure pipeline within the branch okay continue okay so I'm going to use this to the default because we, cre we created in the default pool. Let me change the name of the pool to default. task yeah just make sure okay well, all right so let's save okay coming directly to the main branch yeah okay now let's edit and and let's run this now we should be able to see the uh, listing jobs from the azure devops pipeline should okay it requests for an approval gate because there is an approval gate in place approve it and a running job has just moved to request approval and I see the job is running and simultaneously I've also created a sonar cube we need to start the sonar cube for in order to work this okay and let's let me open the it should be listening to 9002 Okay, it's not yet started. It's running. So let's wait for a minute. Hopefully, this should be up by now. Let's see the status again. Yeah, it's running. Okay. We'll give like 10, 15 seconds more. It's going through the build. I see the agent is running and also we can check the status of the agent I'm sorry okay 
Hey, good. That's the project details. So I might have clicked it. So default, I see the agent is running. Yeah, so, so let's wait for it to be completed. And also let's see if we have the page coming up. I see, I think it's thinking, hopefully it should be loading up then. Because we have integrated the sonar cube analysis to be run in our pipeline. Okay, it's still building the project. The project is building on the .NET framework. Okay, request to login. Okay. We should have some test results coming through. Okay, let's see, and also listening to the complete the test result. Okay, build job. Okay, so on our cube is also, let's check. Um, we should have the runner as well, which should be giving us more information on here. Let's see, my agent, my agent work, okay. Uh, good. So, yeah, it's taken from my PC, my agent, my agent work, yeah. And those are the logs where it's going to be saved as well. And we should have, okay, still going through. Okay, next job is started, sonar cube analysis. It's a lot, a lot of exciting uh, when you see the pipeline is uh, triggered and the agent pool, which we have included a self-host agent, okay, inside the pi pipeline YAML file. And uh, because I'm using a classic editor uh, for the pipeline, and I've injected the pool with name default. And there is a lot of other things that you can also demand, you can add in for your agent name as well. And uh, also we can monitor the agent. Currently we are doing that. And man, and also ensure that the agent machine remains online and accessible from Azure DevOps itself. So the best practices is security, keeping agent machine secure, especially if it's in the access to sensitive data or services, run it in the isolated environment if possible. Uh, if you are in the cloud environment, we can also uh, think of uh, more of the other points related to the security. There's a lot of documentation which you can follow. And we need to have a periodically updates uh, for the agent software to ensure the capability which Azure DevOps is in place. And also we need to scale depending on the agent uh, in the pool. If you need more parallelism in your builds, we can also do that. And also, you know, fast phase of uh, deploying and managing that with multiple agents. I see the Sonar Cube analysis is completed. We should have the report under the tag. So let me maximize this. So passed, good. Two minutes ago, that's good. We have the report now. New code analysis. Okay, it comes up with the right information, issues. Let's see if you have any issues. Okay, no, we have consistency one. There is a security hotspot, measures, code, activity. Okay, so that means it's all good. I would say the job is still running. I believe it's the artifacts. Yes, it's publishing artifacts. So to conclude in this video is some of the key points and uh, there are no uh, common issues at the moment uh, when we are driving through this video and we were successfully uh, configured the agent, installed the agent, configured the agent and uh, run the agent in isolation.
path and using the self-hosted agent in the pipeline and it looks all good thank you very much for watching this video